The picture of St. Louis Lambert International Airport has been an important travel hub for the couple we are introducing you to tonight. But as Contact 2's Mike Colombo shows us, another U.S. airport played a key role in helping this love story take flight. Lara Mark and Silas Hensley's love story has always involved travel. Him from D.C. and me from St. Louis just randomly meeting at a good friend's wedding. Their photo booth fun at that San Diego wedding sparked a long distance relationship nurtured through talking, texting and traveling. We decided we'd fly out to see each other every three or four weeks and that has been a nice direct flight. <laughs> Silas popped the question last year in Hawaii. Newly engaged, these frequent flyers naturally planned a destination wedding for March in Mexico. But in November, those plans hit turbulence. Lara's mom, Judy, was diagnosed with lung cancer. She wanted us to and made me promise from day one of diagnosis until the Sunday before I left for the wedding that we wouldn't change anything, that we wouldn't alter our plans. Um, she wanted me to be happy. Lara kept that promise to her mom for the most part. On March 20th, she left St. Louis Lambert International Airport to meet Silas in Houston. Inside Hobby Airport, the couple made one adjustment to their itinerary before leaving for Mexico. Silas, <laughs> With a chapel and chaplain, pre-flight first dance, and newlywed bonding before boarding, this airport elopement had it all. And Lara's mom got to see it all in pictures and videos back home in St. Louis. She was going to be with us one way or the other. A few days later in Mexico, Judy's picture was prominently positioned as Lara and Silas did take two of their I do's among friends and family. Lara's soon learned this new chapter in her life started as her mother's life ended. The next day, my aunt told me that she passed about 30 minutes before our wedding ceremony. So in my mind, she was with us in spirit and waited so that she could join us. It's the constant balance between the good and the bad when you when you live your life, I think. Do you yeah. feel that way? I do. And I feel like you have a choice on what you want to latch on to, you know, and if, if possible, try to see all of it, try to see um, the good and the bad. And it was a roller coaster for sure, um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't change it. Um, I got to fulfill my promise to her and she got to be there and there was no other way she could be there with us without it happening this way. This flight plan we call life is full of headwinds and tailwinds. One day you're stuck in coach, the next you're flying first class. But as this story proves, the losses and loves we experience along the way make it a trip worth taking. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.